Hello everyone. How's everyone doing today? Welcome to Creative Stampin' Designs. My name is Karen, and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in central New Jersey. Oops, I'm all crooked here, sorry. Hi Rosie, thanks for joining. I am really crooked for some reason. I don't know what's going on. Everything looks... Hi Jamie, hi Amy. I don't know, this is three weeks in a row I went live and my phone said I was live, but it wasn't coming up live. So I had to back out and go back in. Gotta love this technology stuff. I am not liking it. Anyway, all right, I am going to get started. I have a real simple fun fold for you today. <clears throat> Excuse me, using the Encircled in Friendship um, stand, uh, bundle. And I also use the Checks and Dots embossing folder. I did some of the cutting and everything ahead of time. Before I get started, I just wanted to remind everybody about the Connect, Craft, and Collect. If you place an order of... $250 or more, Stampin' Up! is giving you an extra $25, um, <clears throat> excuse me, an extra $25 in Stampin' Rewards. Um, if, hi Jillian, thanks for joining. If you want to get a group of friends together to, um, and be a host to place in, you know, place orders, then you can Get your um, twenty five extra $25 that way so you don't have to place an individual order. Just contact me at creativestampindesigns at gmail.com and I'd be happy to set up a host code for you. <clears throat> the other thing is um, kit collections are available now. Um, if you just go to my online store, you can see all the different kits that are available. They come complete with a little... Uh, I don't think I have one here. I do. Hang on. They come with these little, with a blo acrylic block and little ink spots. Um, comes with the stamp set. Everything you need to make the cards. The only thing you might need is uh, is the card background fresh. Fr no, Rosie, but there is fresh freesia on it. <laughs> And play a guessing game. What's the other color on it? <laughs> Hi, Barbara. Thanks for joining. Um, every, the only thing you might need to complete the kits are a pair of paper snips. Um, otherwise, it comes with adhesive, the block, um, the ink, stamps, everything, the card, all the card bases. So if you're not somebody that wants to invest in a lot of things and you want to give it a try... Um, the kits are perfect, perfect for you. Cause it just, you, most of the kits make, I want to say like nine cards, six, nine cards. Uh, well, at least nine cards, I believe it is. Um, but check it out. Just if you go to my, like I said, my online store, you could see all the kits there. All right. If you have any questions, just give me a shout and I'd be happy to help you. Okay, we have a real simple card today for you. I'm going to start with a piece of thick basic white card base. And it's four and a quarter by five and a half. There's, that's all it is. And then we have a piece of <clears throat> soft succulent um, card stock that is four and an eighth by five and three eighths. All the measurements will be on my blog on... Friday, um, the creative stampin designs.com. All the measurements will be there, directions, and then a link to the video. So I'm just going to adhere this 
right to the basic white. So it's kind of, the white's more of a matte for the um, soft succulent. Uh-oh, you don't have sound? Oh, thanks, thank you, Amy. Every, everybody else can hear me okay? <clears throat> I'm trying to speak up, too. <clears throat> Excuse me. Allergies are... Okay. This is really the card for this. And it is three inches by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And we're just going to give it a little fold. Okay. And I am... I'm going to stamp the inside before I adhere anything, just in case, since paper has two sides. And, whoops, I'm stamping the sentiment on the inside in soft succulent. It's a, um, you're in my thoughts. That's the sentiment from the encircled in friendship. Like I said, this is a really easy one. Last week, Jillian um, did my fun fold, and but you had uh, Jillian. I think you said you had trouble um, you had trouble posting it. I don't know why, but you should be able to post them in the comments, and I'd really love to see um, the cards if you. If you case them, I love seeing your take on the uh, on my cards. Looks, I think that's pretty strict. You know what? I'm going to try for another. Try one more time. See if I can get it a little straighter. That's why I didn't do any. I didn't adhere anything. I'm always afraid that I'm a little bit. A little bit crooked. Let's try one more time. I think the other side was better. All right, I wasn't quite prepared for this to happen. Just give me one second. I'm gonna. Quickly cut another one because I'm really not happy with uh, how that's stamped. So I'm going to stamp, cut it again. It's eight and a half by three, and score it at four and a quarter. And hopefully this time it will be straight. Even though paper does have two sides, I can't use, well, actually, I can use the up here, because this is going to, no, I can't, okay, that's going to be scrap. I'm trying one, oh, I have ink on my hands, oh my goodness, okay, so we're a bit of a mess today, sorry. Let's try here. Make sure there's no other ink. <clears throat> All right, that's better. Are we anybody having? Are you still having trouble hearing? And we're going to give this a second to dry. While I'm waiting for that to dry, since that's the back now, I'm going to adhere 
a piece of the, oh my goodness, oh, I'm a hot mess today, the ombre specialty paper. This is um, the gorgeous grape, and I'm just going to adhere it to the card front, and I'm not sure, I'm going to use um, liquid glue, only because this paper is a little bit on the thicker side. Before I get to stick my finger in anything. And I don't know if you can tell, but it's lighter on this end and then it gets darker. So I'm going to put the lighter part up. And this one is cut. I believe it's two and seven eighths by four and an eighth. Give that a good press. I keep looking. I keep thinking there's ink on my hands. All right. Give that a good crease there. This is going to go right on top of here like that, and I'm going to use liquid glue again, only because part of it's going on embossed. And I just really, I want this to stick. So we're going to get it right, do our best to get it right in the middle. I haven't matched the sparkle yet. My daughter picked the colors for me, actually. center. Give it a good press on the back. <clears throat> and that's the fun fold. Nice and simple. So you just have one small card here. I'm doing more to this, but that's all it is. So you just have this for your card base, and then this small card is just like a little, little note card, but like I said, it's going to have a little bit more. Um, I do have a piece of the Fresh Freesia Shimmer shimmer Vellum Paper. Oh, my goodness. And I am only going to adhere this right in the center. I'm not, because being it's vellum, you will be able to see any adhesive around the sides. So I'm just going to put the adhesive right in the center with a little bit of, Stamp and seal. Got a big piece of glue. You're not well, we're not really gonna see that. We're just putting this right like that. Again, give it a press on this side. And this piece is going to get adhered to the top of this, which I think I'm going to use dimensionals for it. If I can find what I did with them. And actually what I'm going to do, just to be sure, I only want it Um, I don't want it on the ends. So I just put it backwards on it. Just to make sure. Whoops. Sticking to everything's sticking today. Gee whiz. Sticking to me, it's ah. Oh. All right. All right. I'm just gonna adhere this right in the center. Do my best here. I guess right like. I'm 
again, I'll give it a press on the opposite side. Uh, yeah, they didn't. Yeah, I'm a little bit off. Enough that it's going to drive me crazy. We're going to use the grid paper to make sure I get it even this time. Whoops. I'm not looking up at comments. I'm sorry. I'm messing up a little today. That's what happens. Give me a day off. Since I had to work yesterday, I didn't have to go in today. There we go. Okay. That's the middle. Then I did already cut one of the... Um, encircled in beauty dies. I this one here I cut out. The last card I did, I used this. So this I just cut this one out here, and then I used my um, layering circle dies, and I did I stamped the sentiment already, and cut it out with. Um, the die and uh, the only thing I'm going to do I just wanted to stamp the single flower I'm going to stamp it in the fresh freesia I didn't do that ahead of time because I wanted to cut it out first I'm just going to stamp it over the sentiment in the fresh freesia I'm going to stamp it off once just So that, you know, just to give it a little something. You could barely see it. I know it's there, though. And I'm going to adhere this to the center of the die cut. Aren't these pretty? Love that lacy look. And I'm just going to use a little, um, little bit of snail on this. Not snail, I'm sorry. Um, stamp and seal. Jeez. Boy, Amy, you'd think I was the one that was on vacation. And the good thing about a circle is if you don't get it straight, just turn the whole circle. All right. And then I'm going to adhere this to the front using stamp of dimensionals again. And this is why, um... I only used adhesive in the middle because this is going to go right over the top like that. I'm just going to put one on each side. I just want to make sure this holds. I'm not sure how well it's going to hold. I mean, the stamp of dimensionals hold pretty well on the vellum. Just gonna put this right, right like that, and I just realized something that I did that I shouldn't have done yet. I shouldn't have. I forgot to stamp this first. Okay, we're gonna really hope I don't mess this up, because if I do, I might throw in the towel. I was supposed to stamp in color. I got so flustered with the sentiment not being straight. Make up a post-it note. We're going to put this right here just in case. I don't want to take a chance of hitting the green. Thing I put that there. All right. And I am going to add a little color to this. Actually, we're going to leave this here just in case. Um, this was, I was supposed to stamp this first. 
this is one of those do as I say and not as I do things. Is everybody having a good day? It's been an odd day here. It's I said it was supposed to be like 80 degrees, but it's cloudy and looks like rain, but there's no rain in the forecast. We've just been getting a lot of rain just all at once. Now, I don't mind getting it a little at a time, but it, last week... We just had so much rain here. So I'm coloring this with my Fresh Freesia, and I'm going to use the um, my Soft Succulent also. Stampin' Blends markers. And I'm just throwing color on. I'm not... There's no real rhyme or reason of what I'm doing. I've got to make sure I'm doing it right, though. Those are leaves. Okay. We're going to do the, I'm going to do the inside petals um, with the light fresh freesia. Thanks, Jamie. <laughs> it's just one of those days. I think this happened last time I had off on a Wednesday. I just was all just as prepared as I thought I was. I wasn't. And we're going to use a little bit of the dark on the stem. Keep a steady hand here. I can't talk and color at the same time. Sorry. Nor I can sometimes, but with these real um, thin pieces, I'm always afraid. And I'm actually going really light with the coloring because I don't want to take a chance. I don't think it would bleed all the way through. It would have this to bleed through plus the soft succulent um, panel. And then the, the other basic, the thick basic white panel. And I don't think it would bleed through, but... I don't want to take the chance there. These are all leaves here. I have a feeling this was a flower that I just colored. All right, well, it's going to be a leaf today. Okay, there we go. Whew, no pressure there. And that's it with the card. <laughs> After all that, I'm just going to add a couple of the pastel pearls in the gorgeous grape. I'm just going to put a couple of those on. And then I'll 
get the envelope done and we'll be all finished. Like I said, this is a really easy fold. I made a whole bunch of these for um, a couple of my Girl Scouts and Kara's friends when they graduated from, uh, from college. And I did them in their school colors. All right, so for the envelope, I'm going to stamp first. I'm just going to stamp the floral image on the front. going to just put a piece of scrap paper inside but <clears throat> and I'm going to color the same way I did with the other I'll do the outside leaves in the dark and the inside um in the light I mean you can't see it too much the difference too much with something like this it would look better if I blended but this is how my irises look out front right now I believe that's what these are, bearded iris. And I have mine outside. They're all, actually mine are like a gorgeous grape color. They're all, right now I have a whole garden of them. They're all blooming. They look so pretty. And the good thing is when they die off, at least then I have all, it just leaves greens behind. So it doesn't look bad, so... I don't even bother planting anything else in the garden. It just looks like a whole lot of greens. Like I have some kind of a bush there. Last week I had a... I went on early because my boss decided to schedule a an interview that I had to do for because we're looking for a new cashier so I had to go on a little early so that I could be up at the store um, for when they came in and I sat there for one hour waited and they never never showed I really don't like when people do that At least everybody's got cell phones now. At least call and say either I'm not interested or I'm stuck in traffic. And it took my time away because it was my daughter's birthday also. It took time away from spending with her. Just about done here. So Jillian, when you make this one, in the comments um, on Facebook, either under this video or when I post the card, you should be able to post a picture of your card. Because I'm counting on you to make this and then share it. I really like the one you did last week that you copied from me. That came out really pretty. I really like, I love seeing everybody else's take on different, you know, the cards I do. I have a group of uh, ladies that I do a card class with. And they always insist on copying exactly the way I um, do my card. And I keep saying the whole time, all night, they wanted to start a little poll last night of how many times I said, it's your card, do what you want with it. 
All right. And I just have a piece of the 2021-2023 um, in color in Fresh Freesia um, DSP just for the envelope flap because I couldn't put the vellum and I didn't want to, I didn't think the glimmer paper would hold up. Not that it would hold up, but it was going to be too thick. So I just have just picked a piece of the in color paper. Just give it a quick trim, and it'll be all done. And there you go. Super simple, fun fold. Jamie, okay. Super simple, fun fold. Okay, and I did, I told you at the beginning, I did emboss um, this. What I did, which that I didn't, I didn't sh tell you. I'm really sorry about that. I will show you real quick what I did. Um, I think I have just a piece of, here, a piece of white here. That'll work. So what I did is I put the folder just on partially like this and I ran it through my um, Stampin' Emboss cut machine and then I took it out and I put it on this side but in so that I knew where to go I just I had set this about where I was gonna put it so I knew how far in because I didn't want to put it too far because of writing so but that's all I did I put it for on the one side and then I brought it around and I ran it through again on this side. And then any little marks that are left, it gets covered up by this piece. So that was all that I did for that. But that's it for today. That's the nice and simple, another nice and simple fun fold. And I really hope that you will give it a try and share it on my Facebook page with me. I would love to see yours. All right. Thanks everyone for joining me. Don't forget about the last chance, um, the retiring items from the January to June mini catalog is going on right now. You can get some really great buys. Things, I believe it's up to 50% off some of the things. So you might want to hop on and see what if there was anything you haven't gotten yet before they're gone because things are going fast. All right. I plan on being back next Wednesday at four o'clock and I hope to see you then. I hope you all have a great week everyone. Take care. Bye-bye. Thanks for joining.